Hello everyone, welcome back to the Fox Tech YouTube channel. This time we talk about maps on your Mac. And it doesn't matter if you have a MacBook like I do, or if you have like a desktop Mac, which could be iMac, Mac Mini, whatever. It's the same stuff because all Macs use the same software. Anyways, if you want to use maps, you have a few options to pick from. Now, maps are something which comes pre-installed on your Mac. If you go to the launcher or to the all apps section, you're going to notice that maps are are going to appear right there so it's an official app which you can easily use from apple and the latest updates show that this app is pretty usable so this would be the first option so you can easily just open it up you have this very nice spherical view you can move around do whatever you want you can zoom in as much as you want it just looks nice there are features which are being constantly added to the apple maps it's built in so you don't have many things to worry about it's just very useful to do it that way you can of course search through it search for whatever you want gas stations in that area yeah many different things to to actually use in here with but yeah the in the apple maps is one of the options which you have available in case you want to mess with the settings just go in here to the upper left corner tap on the maps and here you have settings so you can choose what's uh, gonna appear you have some settings for the route planner preferred type is driving you can see you can avoid tolls or highways in your navigation many things just go through the settings i'm not going to go through every single one of the options show air quality for example weather conditions you can disable that i mean i just want to say that there are many features you can also just add some ratings and show photos whatever yeah many different things but that's just one example you're not limited to just using apple maps by the way guys if you want to know everything about your iphone apps you have to click the link down below in the description it's a hundred percent free education platform where i publish like video editing courses there is going to be the all apps explained course which is coming up it's going to explain every single app on your iphone it's going to be really cool so go ahead and check out that link it's free to access so yeah go ahead and do that right Right now besides that what you can also do is just to use google maps however you don't have this as a specific dedicated app if you just look up google maps you're not going to be able to find it inside of the app store which is something that would be nice to be honest to have it as a dedicated app but it doesn't matter because you do not have it anyways the way i i like to use it is by simply going to the safari and go to google of course click on that click on the little thing for more apps from google and go to maps yeah it's very simple you just get there and you use google maps normally so yeah i don't want to actually go through all of the features because you of course know about the street view the layers everything that is available to you yeah everything works just like normal and i just want to make make it clear that you don't have that many problems just because it's not an app just because you have it inside of a web browser doesn't make the user experience less enjoyable you can still get the most out of the maps if it works very well i don't see reason why you should be worried about like using it inside of a web browser instead of app i don't see why it actually matters that much so yeah just don't be afraid to use it inside of the web browser that's the only way you're going to be able to get google maps on your mac but besides that i quickly touched on the app store but you can notice that if you look up the term maps Google Maps are just not going, going to show up because it's not an available on there. But you can see some other apps in here, for example, some more specific ones for like tour, tourism or hiking maps. You can see like options are available inside of the App Store when it comes to maps. But these are like more niched down apps. You can see here is a mind map. And <laughs> that's that's interesting as well. You can see other things are available in here but if you really just want to check out the maps you have the options of going with the apple maps again or firing up the google either google chrome or safari whichever browser you use and then just look up google maps and you're going to be fine so this is how you can use maps on your macbook thank you very much for watching hope you found this video useful make sure to leave a thumbs up but definitely subscribe down below to the fox tech because you don't want to miss the next videos and tutorials which are going to help you out thank you very much for watching see you guys later